Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and I pray and I hope that each one of you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep. I doubly pray that when your eyes open this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right. Just in case I missed something on yesterday, you've given me another opportunity. And I do thank you for that. You may be getting up to prepare breakfast for your husband, for your children, or just for yourself. I ask you before you start your busy morning to open your ears, and radiate your mind, let it form down to your heart, and let the heart pump the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is promise. You know, nowadays, we can't believe in promises nowadays. People make promises and they change their mind. They come up with all kind of excuses why they didn't or why they couldn't. Uh, they use the simple word, I forgot. <laughs> but a promise is something sincere. A promise really determines who you are what you stand for, what you believe in. That's what promises that. Let's look at the definition of promise. A declaration, a sureness that one will do a particular, a particular thing or that a particular thing will happen. A declaration that one will do or refrain from doing something specified. A, dot, um, a promise is a legal binding document declaring and that gives the person to whom it makes a right to expect or to claim that promise. It's a legal binding declaring. I mean, when you promise someone something, it's coming from the heart. But nowadays, people are promising from the lips, and that's why we come up with all kinds of excuses when we don't come through with what we say. The Bible defines it as a commitment from God that something will or will not happen. Be given are come to pass. Every promise of God is significant, is signed, is sealed, and it will be delivered that you can stand on. To the believer, because they are in the Lord Jesus Christ. So if God promised you something, rest assured, it's going to happen. You, is no, you don't have to doubt that one. He's not going to get in the middle of the water and forget what he promised you. Hebrews 10, 35 through 37. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, confirming of faith in Christ and the cross. Don't lose your confidence in the Lord Jesus. Don't do that. Which has great repercussions of reward. Eternal rewards. While earthly persecution is temporary, God's eternal rewards are forever for what you had to deal with down here for standing in your faith and not wavering. For you have Need of patience. Proper faith will always bring proper patience. If you have the right faith, you got the patience to wait on the Lord. That after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. He will carry out the will of God in our lives. If we carry out the will of God in our lives, we don't have to worry about the promise being fulfilled. If you follow 
the word of God, his law, his order, his commandments. You don't have to worry about the promise that he made to you being fulfilled. He will definitely do that. For yet a little while, and he shall, and he shall come, will come, and will not tarry. This reference to the rapture of the church, it's coming. It's coming. If the Holy Spirit deemed the time frame shortly, some 2,000 years ago, <laughs> then how much closer are we presently today? How close are we today? This was done. It was named that he was coming and he would not tarry over 2,000 years ago. Are we at the end of that by now? Mm. I pray when your eyes open this morning, thank the Lord for a second chance to get it right just in case you missed something on yesterday. And you are to think about the promise that was made by the Father in heaven. Think about it. Think about what he promised you if you follow his commandment. And his commandments is not grievous. They're not hard. We can follow them if we so desire. If you think about the promise for doing right. So let us remember the last portion of the verse. For yet a little while. And he who shall come will come and will not tarry. He's coming fast and swift and grabbing us fast and swift. Be in the grabbing number when he comes. All, all day long. All day long today. And all the whole weekend through. Ask the Holy Spirit to cleanse your heart as you remember the promise of the Lord Jesus. Don't forget his promise. Follow the man with the picture of water. I love that scripture. And if the Lord Jesus Christ says the same, I will see you on Monday. Be safe. Be blessed. Have a beautiful and a joyous and a blessed weekend. And whatever you do, Remember that he's coming swift and he's not tearing and he's coming for a church without a spot or a wrinkle. Line yourself up. Line yourself up with what he asked us to line up with. Bye-bye.